Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video we're gonna do a little bit of styling. If I look crusty as hell today, it's because I've been wearing this makeup since 4 o'clock this morning and I came home from work and was like, I can't keep procrastinating making a styling video, I just need to like go and do it. And I actually didn't even know if I should make this video because right now it's actually really warm in Melbourne. Um, we've just hit spring so it's like super windy outside but still really really nice and warm obviously i'm wearing this fit today so yeah it's not like cold and freezing anymore but i know that a majority of you guys that are watching are american and it's just gone over into autumn there or fall as you guys call it but i will be styling some autumn outfits for you guys because i just love you guys so much so i actually hate autumn at least here in melbourne the weather is like super unpredictable it's really hard to kind of dress for the climate and with autumn it's basically exactly the same as winter just with like more allergies you know what i mean so yeah whenever it hits autumn it's actually really hard to tell because it's basically the same cold gray you know windy rainy just gross weather that we have in winter whenever it's cold i kind of just stick to basics i go for like an oversized jumper, you know, a long skirt or some pants or whatever. So I'm gonna try and do those like basic outfits that I would normally wear, but make them a little bit more interesting for you guys. Um, I think that's about it. I think I'm gonna go into my first outfit. My main tip for autumn weather is literally no, you know, shock to anyone, but layering is like key and I have a phobia of layering. So in autumn and winter, I tend to just kind of wear like what I would normally wear when I'm comfortable in spring and summer. And then I just chuck a jacket over the top of it or a jumper. So yeah, honestly i could probably wear this outfit right now and just like put this jacket on because this jacket kind of speaks for itself and it's so cool and it's really warm and really comfortable and i'm literally wearing like pajamas essentially but you chuck this on hey that's a cool outfit right there and some like knee-high boots with a little bag done that's all you really need um as long as you're comfortable that is all that matters anyway now let's get into the first like actual thought out complete look because this doesn't count. <laughs> so this is the first outfit and I would call this like my autumn uniform, I guess. Just because I wore this ensemble so many times, specifically with this jumper. Um, it's really heavy, it's like that cable knit kind of material and cable knit immediately makes you think of autumn and leaves and shit like that. Um, <laughs> and then I love having a little mini skirt just peek out. The good thing about having an oversized jumper is that if your skirt is like extremely broken, um, you can just cover it up. Like, you guys will not believe how many times I have gone out wearing an outfit where something doesn't fit me and I've just put on something oversized over the top of it um, and it's literally like not even zipped up. I'm just like, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Atticus is like standing here creepily staring at me. Oh, he still doesn't like being picked up, but here he is. Um, I guess he's part of the ensemble now. I got this big like kind of slouchy red bag that my mom gave me. I've also got my sunglasses just in case. I also would normally wear this with tights, but I cannot for the life of me find my black bow tights. They have just completely disappeared. So um, yeah, I would also wear that with this outfit. But yeah, this is just like super comfortable, a bit casual, but still like a little bit amped up because of the skirt. Bro, I have to put you down, like this, <laughs> this is crazy. Come here. No. He won't stay in his bed, he just follows me immediately. I've also just put on my like basic go-to rings and I've put on this necklace because the chain is a little bit longer and this has like a turtleneck that can fold up. This is the fit. If anyone knows where I can get a skirt just like this that isn't broken, please send me a link. <laughs> so this is the next outfit that I put together. It's pretty similar to the last one, but I just wanted to style some tartan. Like I think that that skirt's Plaid. I genuinely cannot tell you the difference between tartan and plaid, I'm so sorry, but I know that this skirt is tartan because it's a genuine Scottish kilt. I think that a kilt is so perfect for autumn because it's a skirt, so it's got like, it's a bit breathable, but it's wool and it's heavy and like long enough to keep you warm. And then tartan and plaid, like that just immediately makes me think of like Gilmore Girls. <laughs> and again, I'm not really saying anything revolutionary, like it's kind of giving florals for spring, like I florals for spring. Groundbreaking. But I just, I love tartan so much and I've worn tartan and plaid for so long. So I wanted to style a little outfit around that. Um, this kilt is so gorgeous and long and perfect and just oh, beautiful. I've gone with this new black leather bag that I got recently. It is literally perfect. And it's got all these like silver rings on it. So I will definitely be like filling this up with some keychains that I have. Also, I'm trying not to angle my head to the right because what the fuck is that? Like literally, oh my God. Um, But this side of my 
hair looks amazing and I can't remember fixing it. Anyway, I've got another oversized jumper, but this one isn't as heavy. It's kind of like a lighter material. You can wear nothing under it if you're like, you know, too hot. I feel like this jumper being paired with this skirt is kind of giving me Vivian Westwood, like very like watered down Vivian Westwood. But she used to work with tartan and plaid a lot um, as well as working with like a lot of safety pins and shit like that. So I don't know, they just work together. And then I decided to put on my little Mary Jane shoes and these big leg warmers that are very chunky. Actually, I would probably add some like glasses with this as well. I actually recently ordered some new glasses, um, so they will be coming soon and then I will be doing a whole video with them based around workwear. Anyway, let's move on to my next one. Addy has finally gone to sleep and he's left me alone, so. Okay, for this next look, we're going for like cool girl style, kind of like simple, but you can definitely tell that you're like into fashion kind of moment. Um, I would definitely wear this outfit out. It's not completed yet. I would get a jacket and a bag and I think that I would either go with this cheetah print sort of jacket just to give it a little extra pattern and a different colour because y'all know I, I love to put black and red together but I need to tone it down sometimes you know but why would I do that when I could just go for my usual colour combo that suits me I think pretty well and then put on the best leather jacket I've ever found in my life look at that look at that, all matching. We've got the hair up, we've got this gorgeous vintage leather trench coat, my little red bag, my bright red tights that match perfectly to this leather belt that I got in a mystery bundle. I've got my usual knee high calf length, I don't know, whatever, um, boots on, and then this tiny, tiny little mini straight like boat neck dress um, that I actually made with my mom. So yeah, this is so cute, really perfect. I think that it keeps you warm enough, but it's still really cute. I honestly didn't wear many like cool outfits all of autumn basically because I was working and I would come home and be too tired to do anything and I would literally just like wear like a long sleeve shirt under a big band t-shirt and put on some pants. And that was about it. I was like just lucky that I was getting out of the house at that point. Um, but now that it's spring and summer is approaching as well, I'm feeling not so depressed. And now I'm kind of defrosting my brain a little bit. I'm so excited to actually get dressed up. I've recently been wearing like actual makeup and outfits to my office, which I hadn't done before. I'm talking like this is the end of the video. This is an end of the video. I don't know why I'm, I'm like wrapping it up. Um, we've still got like two more outfits to go, I think. So for this next look, I am taking direct inspiration from the movie The Craft. Um, can you guys believe that it took me 22 years to see this damn movie? I only watched it for the first time last week or two weeks ago because my friend Austin forced me to and it was so good. Um, I don't know why I've been avoiding watching it for so long, but the outfits in that movie and the whole like production design is so good. The second that it becomes a little bit colder, I immediately think of like witchy, you know, Halloween type vibes. It's kind of weird that Halloween is in the spring here. It feels like everyone should have it in order like that just makes sense. I'm not done with this outfit yet because I don't know about the vest but I thrifted this like very cool whimsy goth like 90s vintage dress with these little parts on the sides here that are lace and I wanted to lay out a vest over the top of it to see what it looked like. This one I think is cute but I do have like a black leather one so maybe I'll try that one on. Okay I've done up one button on this thing and I just know it's not gonna look good. It's too like biker kind of chick and it's covering up too much of the dress so I'm gonna put the other one back on. Okay yeah I do think that that looks a little bit better and it ties into the movie because of the you know academia factor of it and you know what it cinches in my waist so we're keeping it up. It might look a little bit weird up here with all the different sleeves and whatever but don't worry we're obviously gonna add a jacket because ain't no way you're going out in 10 degree weather wearing this. Okay so this is the full look and I definitely think it's very witchy and whimsy goth. Um, if I tie up this jacket you can't see the best but like Oh well. Obviously, I had to wear my little witchy boots for this as well. These boots are so perfect for fall and autumn vibes. I've got my hair in these little space buns just because, again, I wanted to kind of play into the craft. They are school kids, so I wanted to go for something a little bit more fun and playful with my spiky buns. And then I've got this insane bag that I've had for years now. I might put my sunglasses on too, just to really amp up the cool factor because I love those sunglasses. <laughs> so for the last outfit, I obviously had to pull out this velvet dress. Not not only does this scream autumn and like the perfect gothic sort of 90s vintage vibe, but 
Rory Gilmore from Gilmore Girls literally wears this dress. I think she wears like a version of it that's more orange, whereas this one's pink. But this dress is gorgeous. I literally love it so much. I don't even care that it has three quarter sleeves. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is like my Gilmore Girls outfit because obviously the first thing that us girlies think of when it hits autumn is Witches and Gilmore Girls, and I'm due for a rewatch actually. Honestly, this is just the outfit on its own. Um, I've kept on my Victorian little boots. Um, this dress is literally perfect, so I don't really need to add many more accessories and stuff to it. I have added this perfect vintage necklace from, again, the mystery bundle that I opened. I've got some chunky bracelets and jewelry, and then I've also added in this scarf to my hair because I feel like while this dress is Rory, I, you know, don't really like her. <laughs> Um, I don't know anyone that likes Rory actually, but my favorite character is obviously Laura like Gilmore and she wears a lot of like head scarves and wraps around her hair and stuff because she's always working. She's a working class girl. Obviously when it's actually cold you can't just go outside wearing this unfortunately. So I'm going to be adding this dark burgundy jacket to it and my little black bag. It's comfortable, it's warm enough, um, you know you could wear this to a little date or something like that. I feel like all of these outfits have kind of encapsulated my autumn wardrobe. Even if I didn't wear some of these specific outfits in autumn or winter, I was definitely thinking about it. I was thinking, man, I should really like put some effort in today and do my makeup and hair and actually look nice for a change. And then I went, nope, never mind. Anyway, since that is the last outfit, that does bring us to the end of the video. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching and subscribing. Oh my God, there are so many of you now, Jesus Christ. I think honestly, when I hit 10K, I might do like a little giveaway. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it or how people normally do giveaways, but I will figure it out because 10K is a pretty big milestone. I'll probably talk more about it and sort it out on my Instagram and like through my Instagram stories. So definitely give me a follow on there if you want to keep up to date. If you like this video, please give the video a like. I will definitely be posting more styling videos in the weeks to come. And if you liked me and Addy, then please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and we will see you in the next one. Bye.